How's it going, little hatchlings? Black Dragon King here. I'm at my hotel for uh, Kineticon, which starts tomorrow. And I decided I might want to play a little game here for you guys. We're going to play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, because why not? One of my favorite games from when I was a kid. Let's get right into it, shall we? It's one of the side games from the Final Fantasy series. And... Let's just get right into it. Start a new game. The ante or protagonist name, default name, is Benjamin. So let's get this typed in here. There's again. There it is. If I know how to spell. Uh, M I N. Yep. Okay. So let's start this. Uh oh. Earthquakes already. Hill of Destiny. <coughs> <clears throat> My village is gone. What on earth is going on? This place is going to sink any second. Let's climb up quick. Okay, let's climb. I am not controlling this here right now. Press the B button to jump. And jump across. Okay, fourth wall breaks. Like as you said, press the B button, you jump. And that side sinks. You could have just stood there for hours and it wouldn't do anything, but... Anyway. Hey, wait up. Huh, what's that place? Look over there. That's the Focus Tower. Once the heart of the world. An old prophecy says, The Vile Four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. At that time, the night will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Four monsters have locked the four doors of the Focus Tower and escape with the keys. They're draining the light from the four crystals of the earth, and the world is in chaos. The people are in desperate need of help. Benjamin, only you can save the crystals and the world. Me? Yes, you, Benjamin. Only you could be the knight spoken of in the prophecy. Look out, a monster! And we have our first boss battle of the game. Behemoth, which is, if you're a fan of the Final Fantasy series, you know that's a later game monster. Anyway, we have a simple menu. Battle, run, and control. Control lets you control your ally's stance when you have one, between auto and manual. Run is self-explanatory, allows you to run from battles. And battle brings you into the second menu. Attack allows you to attack with your equipped weapon. Right now we only have the sword. Spells, you got... Your spell lists, which we have no magic at the moment. Defense allows your character to defend either themselves or their ally. Item, which we also have none of, allows you to use items. So let's just attack. Attacks with horn. Six damage. Ow. Steel sword. Twenty-five damage. Ha! Take that. Anyway, since we can only attack right now, let's keep keep doing that. Early game, your accuracy sucks, and your luck also sucks, so let's just hope I... Oh, yay! I got lucky. Got a critical hit. End the battle quickly. Defeated the enemy, 84 XP, and 3 GP. Yay. Seems I was right. Last I found a true knight. But you said you were sure I was the one. Actually, it was more of a guess. Ah, great. He's guessing now. Forget it. Just tell me where I can find the crystals. It is up to you to find them. This place is becoming dangerous. Follow me to the level forest. Okay. Gotta get out of here. Who is that guy anyway? Yeah, who is that guy? I don't know. Some guy in a, sitting on a floating cloud. And that place is now gone. <coughs> anyway. Here we have the level forest. There you are. There you are. What do you think I should do first? Save the crystal of the earth. See you. Thanks. Great. Don't even tell me where it is or how to find it or what's guarding it. Just to leave it all to me. Some teenager from a village that's no longer there. Anyway, like you said on the hill, you got your basic controls. B button is jump. And... The A button 
allows you to use your equipped weapon, whatever it is. Y button, which we don't have to have to use right now, allows you to switch your allies control between uh, auto and manual again. The X button brings you to the save menu. So let's save real quick. And here we have our main menu items. We don't have any. Spells, don't have any. Armor. We have one piece, the steel armor, which provides six power for defense. Weapons, we only have one right now, which is the steel sword, basic sword, 12 damage, not bad. Status screen. As you can see, our attack and defense are pretty decent for start game. Speed is kind of low. Magic, eh, we don't need that right now. Accuracy. Like I said, 75% accuracy is not good for a start of the game, and neither is our evade at 4. We will not be dodging any attacks in the near future. So. Anyway, customize. I like to use the figure scale because I like numbers better than yellow lines. Uh, my speed is fine. And we're going after the crystal of earth right now, so let's change this to a nice yellow color. Crystal of earth, yellow. Makes sense. Huh. Can't get to that yet. I wonder what's in there. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we can't get past any of these little tree bushes things right now. Or the big ones. The big ones I don't think you can cut down. No, you can't cut down any. But you can cut down the little ones later on. But we need, we need an axe for that first. Anyway. A boulder is blocking my way back to town. Would you shove it aside? Uh, sure. So jump over him. I don't think he says anything new. No, he doesn't. Just push the boulder. Just walk into it. Thank you. If you want to go through this forest, find Kaylee in Foresta. And show her this. Tree wither. It gave me a dead branch. Okay. Nothing useful. Fine. You get to stay there. Anyway, in here, get some cure potions. Always useful. Anyway, the way to the town is open now. See what we got here. Let's go in here first. Ah, Kaylee's house. Are you Kaylee? My husband Mac forgot his captain cap. I hope nothing happens. Who's that? I don't know. Oh, so you're Kaylee. There's a tree blocking the north of the exit of the level forest. I can chop the down the tree. But monsters have taken over the forest. I can't get to it. I can help you with that. Come on, let's go. Don't you dare take Kaylee anywhere dangerous. Listen, Mom. Ah, oh, that tree with her looks awful. How much the trees must be suffering. Okay, you win. Well, weren't you gonna join me anyway? Don't worry, Mom. I mean... I she, she he, I already said I'd join I'd help you. It's not like I was had a hard time convincing you. Anyway, get some more cure potions. I'm raiding your fridge. Take care. Eh, guess you don't say anything interesting. Okay. Anyway, let's talk to some people. Your monster can drain energy from a person. I'm really just a child. Uh, yeah. Nice try, lady. I'm pretty sure you're not. If you were a child, you wouldn't have gray hair. Strange trees are growing in the level forest. Uh, yeah, well, you got the same trees here. What do you say? Ah! Crystal of the Earth is, in the north, is to the north in the Bone Dungeon. See, now that's the kind of information Floating Guy would have been... Would have, should have given me. Turned into an old man. Well, I guess that's what happens when you live for 90 plus years. However old you are, man. Anyway. <clears throat> check out the other houses here. Much like any other RPG, you can just stroll right on to, into people's houses. And they don't give a crap about what you're doing. I'm raiding this. Potions. Ah. And I save all four crystals. Well, that's the idea. If you're tired, have a rest on that bed. Yep. If you're tired, or, well, rest on the bed, you get a free in. Helpful. 
Enjoy the free one while it lasts. It ain't gonna last long. And in here... Thanks for helping me back there. Take the chest in the back. Yeah, that, this is the uh, guy that we helped in the forest behind the boulder. And we got a chest back there, but we can't get to it through the front. We gotta go around. Cross the bridge. And jump. And head into the back door. There we go. And we find in here the cure magic. Our first white magic spell of the game. No matter way! Thank you. Much like any white magic in the game, in any Final Fantasy game, it's curative. Cure spell. Oh, there's a chest there. Cure spell, like any other Final Fantasy game, it restores your HP. Now, let's check out what Kaylee's got. Oh, yeah. More items. Uh, spell. Yeah. See what armor she's got. Defense power, three. Magic ring, not bad. And gives silence protection. And her Relica armor, 15 defense and protection against water and petrify. Okay, cool. Her weapon, her axe, 16 power as opposed to our 12. So I don't see how we need to help her. Looks like she needs to guard us better. And status. Wait, something's wrong here. Her armor said she was strong against water and silence, not fire and, and fatal attacks. That's a... Uh, I don't know if it's a glitch in the game or whatnot, but that happens. Those are the stats from my last playthrough. One of my characters in the last, the uh, character in the last playthrough. For some reason, it always saves the previous character's stats. To fix it, you just gotta save and do a soft reset. Just do that real quick. Yeah, you gotta save. Reset your game. Come on, game. Load up. There you go. And go back into your save game. And now, as you can see, her stats are back to normal. Yeah, that's kind of a annoying thing you got to do every time you get a new party member. But there is something we can do to exploit that later if I choose to. I don't know if I'm going to show it off or not. I might show it off, but I might not use it. <coughs> anyway... Now, we are going to attack the level forest next time, as I'm all out of time for this episode. Anyway, it's been great, great watching and playing this game with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys, all you hatchlings and other dragons, in the next episode. So, have a good day, guys.